channel to Anna's Delightful Ideas. Thanks for visiting my channel. Uh, today I'll be making borscht, and I thought I'll share my recipe with you guys. Everybody makes borscht differently. This is how I make it. And if you guys want to see how I make it, stick around and let's get into my kitchen. Alright, here I have a pot simmering. I'm going to put one bay leaf, two whole black peppers, and four chicken thighs and one tablespoon of pepper and one teaspoon of salt then we're gonna have cabbage and we're only gonna use half a cabbage and we're gonna cut off the stem and then we're gonna slice the cabbage in little pieces and then we're gonna cut it in half so we can make it small so they're not too long and then I'm going to take out the harder white parts from our cabbage. The white parts from the cabbage, we don't really need because they're thicker. They're going to get soft in our soup longer, so we don't need that. We need the mostly green part. That way it gets soft faster and you can eat your soup. So we're going to mix that around. We're going to squeeze it a little bit so the juices come out, but don't squeeze it too hard. And then we got a carrot, and it's a medium carrot. I peeled the skin off, and I cut in half the thicker part and left the thin part how it is. That way it cooks evenly. And then we have five yellow potatoes peeled and washed. You can use any potato you like. So we're going to cut it in half. And then in fours, and then in six cubes, just like I am here. That way we get a good spoonful with everything on there, so our food inside the soup is not huge chunks. Alright, so I got a pan, and I put my oven on 500 degrees, and I got half a red bell pepper, yellow onion cut in half with skin on, and three garlics. And 25 grape tomatoes. You could use cherry, whatever you like. And we're going to pop this in the oven for 10 minutes. Um, if you don't like to do this, you can skip this part. You could use diced canned tomatoes and tomato paste. But I like my paste to be fresh, homemade, and it's really easy. So why not make it at home? Alright, so our chicken was boiling for 35 minutes. Um, the chicken is ready, and we are going to take out all the onion out of the broth and make our broth clean and clear so there's nothing in there but the chicken. Mmm, it smells delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, so now that we cleaned our broth, we put a tablespoon of chicken bouillon, and we're going to put the potato and carrots together and let that simmer up. And I like to clean the side of my pot. Alright, we're going to mix that in and see how it is. And if you guys don't have chicken bouillon, you could use the chicken bouillon cubes, and you could put 10 of those into your borscht. Alright, so I got a beet, and it's a medium-sized beet. I peeled it, and I'm going to shred it onto a shredder. I like it shredded, that way I don't see it in my borscht. Um, you could dice it up if you want to taste it in your borscht. Mmm, look at that. It changed color right away. And it smells good. Mmm, it smells delicious. Alright, so now it's boiling. That's good. We're going to clean out all of that. Oh, gooey, nasty stuff out of there. So that way we can make our broth clean and tasty and beautiful and so on. It smells really good. Mm -mm -mm. 
And you can start tasting it for seasonings, if it needs more salt, more pepper. Alright, so, 10 minutes passed. Our vegetables are ready and sauteed, or broiled, whatever it's called. I'm going to take the skin off the onion, and I'm going to pop all those vegetables into the blender, and put three tablespoons or four of oil, and a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper, and a tablespoon of sour cream. I'm going to mix all that together. Oh my goodness, I have to stop right there. It smells so good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. Okay, anyways. <laughs> I'm getting too excited here. Alright. So, it should look like that. And make sure it's not too thick or too thin. We need it to be a little thick consistency. Like that. Oh, wow. It smells delish. Alright, so now that our potatoes almost ready, we're going to put in our sauce. Mmm. You can taste it for seasoning. Wow, look how it changed color, like right away. It is beautiful. Oh, you know me, gotta have my broth clean and clear. <laughs> I mean, if you guys don't want to clean out your broth, it's fine. Just keep it the way it is, but I don't know, I just like to clean that stuff out. Alright, so now we have a kidney, sorry, a can of kidney beans. Uh, we're going to drain out the water and clean it out five times. We're just going to rinse the beans in the can and make sure the water runs clear. That way you know they're clean. I'm going to put the whole can into our borscht. And then I made a uh, half onion diced up and a small carrot. And I sauteed it, put it into our borscht, and I put the beans in. I took the stove off. I put the cabbage in and the dill and that's it you just have to wait 15 20 minutes until the cabbage gets soft then you can mix it and mm, delicious it's honestly easy that's all you need and i like to toast my bread and get the garlic and like scrub it on the sides of the toast mm, and just dip it into my soup i like to serve my soup with sour cream and some Still garnished. I don't know. I just, I just can't wait to eat it. I just wanted to show you guys this recipe. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And let me know if you guys tried this recipe. Let me know if you guys liked it and what you did different to put in there. All right, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. Bye.